And we're back here on the GSMC Baseball Podcast, bringing you our third segment, which is going to be talking about some all-star replacements and just going over the guys who were selected to go over to replace the guys on the all-star roster that are injured, don't want to play in it. And yeah, just talking about them and going over that, so we'll be going into that. First off, I do want to say the Mets just won and are now officially in playoff position. They are tied with the Padre for the third wild card spot. Makes me very happy. I am very, very excited, so... Uh, yeah, just wanted to mention that as a Mets fan and, uh, and needed to. So, yeah, uh, going over now, uh, the all-star replacements, we're going to be starting off with the first one, who, of course, you see on the screen right here, Jordan Westerberg of the Baltimore Orioles. Now, Westerberg is part of that huge Orioles young core of bats that are absolutely fantastic, and since coming up, he's been exactly what the Orioles have wanted him to be, have, has manned that third base position very, very well, and has just been an absolutely fantastic, fantastic player and a big part of this Orioles team this year that I think really has gone not not noticed very much and very glad for him to be able to be in the All-Star game this year. He is replacing Rafael Devers of the Red Sox, who is not not playing because of a sore hand, I think. I'm not exactly sure. Kind of seems like he doesn't really want to play in the game, which, hey, look, would you rather work or get four days off off for a break? I mean, you know, I, I don't blame I don't blame any baseball guys who don't want to be in the All Star game. It's a, it's an honor, yes, but also it's your job. At some point, you do need a break, so I don't blame. But looking over Westerberg's stats this year is a 136 weighted run created plus. I mean, man, he's just absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, he's on base percentage 327, slugging 512, WAR already at three. So has had absolutely fantastic, fantastic season for the Sorters team. Again, has manned their base well all year. And I'm very happy for him to be able to get into this All-Star game and be able to, you know, be one of the guys that are able to enjoy it. And, yeah, a long, long career that is going to happen for Westerberg is, you know, going to have much, many more of this, I think. And looking at the Orioles team, I mean, man, this core is absolutely fantastic. There's so many more guys that are coming up soon. And, yeah, it's very exciting to be able to see that Westerberg did make the game and is getting some recognition for the awesome season he's having and yeah very very exciting to end up seeing what is going to be happening with this with this team this year and just going over guys who have made the all-star game and deserve it so it, are there a base the AL was very stacked which is why Westerberg didn't make it I mean you of course had you of course had Devers you of course had Jose Ramirez so it's not exactly like Westerberg was being totally snubbed. It was just a lot of other people who were, uh, a lot of other people who were deserving of making the game, and it was unfortunate for Westerberg. But yeah, so going over now, going over now, the next one we have from the Minnesota Twins, Willie Castro. Now, Willie Castro is an interesting one here. I don't really know what the rationale here was, but it was interesting. So. We'll have to see. So you're looking at Willie Castro and his stats here for the Minnesota Twins, and it's interesting to say the least. He's played 93 games with them this year. Um, does have a 126 weighted runs created plus, so that is good. And uh, yeah, has had a very good season. Like I said it was interesting because really it's not something you expected from him. You really did not expect Willie Castro of all people to have a fantastic, fantastic season, and yeah, he has. So it's been really great props to him and yeah I think he definitely deserves this and again has been so so good with this Twins team really out of nowhere has added into the surprising year of Twins bats and just the amount of infield talent they have so yeah he's been really really good with them and props to him I mean once Altuve was out again I think it was some sore hand for him not really sure again I don't really I don't really think Altuve wants to play going to his rival stadium to get booed all the time I just I think it's enough for him and I don't really blame him again so, yeah, really nice season for Willie Castro. I think definitely deserves to be an all-star. What a comeback from him being a top prospect with the Tigers and kind of fizzling out and finding a home here in Minnesota. So with all the injuries they've had, especially to Royce Lewis, I think it's you know really nice for Willie Castro to be able to end up getting this with the Twins, getting this honor. And, yeah, I think he'll definitely deserve it. And it'll be very fun to see him in the all-star game. So, yeah. Next we have for Tyler Glass now. Uh, replacing him from the Cincinnati Reds, Hunter Green. Now, Hunter Green has had an absolutely fantastic, fantastic season with this Reds team. Definitely deserves it. It's nice for him as well. He is from Los Angeles, so be able to replace the Dodgers pitcher, I'm sure, is 
pretty cool for him. But looking at it so far, he's thrown 104 innings pitch this year, which is very good because he's dealt with injuries really throughout his career, almost the amount of innings he's thrown last year, and is probably going to pass up the first year innings as well. So is he able to stay healthy this year, be consistent? ERA of 3.45, expected ERA of 3.14 is even lower than that. His FIP is 3.68. He's pitching more already at 2.4, according to Fangraphs. K per nine is at 10. Walks per nine is at 3.71, which is a little high, but that's just what his game is. He's a hard-throwing right-handed pitcher who is younger, and all these hard-throwing younger pitchers are going to walk a lot of people. It's just what their game is, so not really too bad. I mean, when he when he keeps striking out people like he is, I don't think it's really a problem. So, um, yeah, he's had a fantastic season with this Reds team. You know, they've been bad, but it's not because of him. Barrel percentage is down 4% from last year as well, which is absolutely fantastic. So, overall, has had an amazing... Ooh, I forgot to change the graphic completely. Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, has had a fantastic, fantastic season with this Reds team. Has been an amazing, amazing player with them. And just, again, they've been bad, but don't point to Hunter Green as one of the reasons why. He's been really, really good and has lived up finally with expectations, I think, a lot of and set for him to be the future ace of this Reds team. Got a big extension this offseason, and it's been well-deserved. Has become the ace of this team. And, yeah, this Reds rotation looking very nice for the future with him. Nick Lodolo, some of the guys you have coming up through the minors, like Chase Petty, Brandon Williamson, Andrew Abbott as well. So, yeah, has had a fantastic, fantastic season with this Reds team. Hunter Green has, and I think definitely deserves to be an all-star replacement here. Now, the final one I wanted to talk about was... Francisco Lindor and Brandon Nimmo, who I've talked about a good amount in the show. I'm going to continue to talk about. You can see the Lindor jersey right there behind me. Um, obviously, I'm not going to hide it. I'm a Mets fan, so maybe I'm a little biased with the subject. Francisco Lindor is my favorite player of all time, but I just don't understand how they haven't replaced anyone in the All-Star game. I thought Brandon Nimmo would be announced sooner rather than later as the replacement for Tatis. I'm not exactly sure if they already put the replacement for Tatis on the roster with Heliot Ramos being there. I haven't really gotten a full answer on that because I believe there's one outfit or more than the American League, so this obviously might be a replacement. I'm not exactly sure about that. Even so, they have to find a way to get Nimmo in this All-Star game. I mean, he's just been absolutely on fire. He had a home run in his three straight games before today when that streak ended, but still got a huge RBI, letting in three runs today, making a 3 to nothing, and really just solidifying this game in the, in the fifth, which got the Mets a sweep over the Nationals and now has them in a, in a wild card spot. So... Has had an absolutely fantastic, fantastic season. and really has broken out. You look at his stats over the last few years in ML, and it's just insane how he hasn't made an all-star game. I mean, has become one of the most underrated players in this league, and I really think they need to get him away into the festivities. And Lindor, I mean, I don't know why they haven't announced him yet as the replacement for Mookie Betts because he's the only obvious choice, in my opinion. I guess MLB could be waiting to see if, Lindor or Willie Adamas from the Brewers is more deserving as they are kind of close in their eyes, I guess. I don't really agree. I, again, think Lindor is the, the easy choice. I think that he 100% deserves to be an all-star this year. Finally, to be an all-star with this Mets team is so high in war in the NL and is fourth, I believe, right now. And the fact that he wouldn't be in the all-star game with that is really incredible. I mean, I understand he, has some, he doesn't have the greatest starts to seasons, but... When you finish season like he does, when you're as consistent as he is, I mean, I don't understand why he wouldn't just make the game. So I think he definitely deserves to be an all-star, and I'm hoping Nimmo and Lindor can get in. Hopefully one of them can get in as a Mets fan. They both deserve it, both to get recognized for their st status, and yeah, very much hoping that they can get recognized for it. So going back over the Ameri the all-star game replacements for this year, Jordan Westerberg, uh, from the Orioles, replacing Rafael Devers of the Boston Red Sox. Willie Castro of the Twins, replacing Jose Altuve of the Houston Astros. Hunter Green of the Reds, replacing Tyler Glasnow of the Los Angeles Dodgers. And hopefully, Brennan Nimmo and Francisco Lindor get in as well. Obviously, there are a lot of other All-Stars who are deserving to get in this game. We're not sure if there are going to be other guys who drop out of this. Could be interesting to see if there is. I mean, there always is going to be guys, I feel like. But yeah, I'm going to be watching that and uh, seeing if there are any other replacements and if there are, we'll let you know. But uh, yeah, that is our third segment here, talking about the, some all, the all-star replacements this year for the MLB and just the guys who did end up replacing the injured guys, guys who don't want to play, whatever, and just talking about their seasons and if they deserve it or not. Moving into our fourth segment here, which is going to be talking about Aaron Judge and this interesting situation. I don't know if you guys heard about it, but 
he was offered a monster contract by the Tampa Bay Rays, and I do want to go over it. So just kind of what, what happened with it, if he should have taken it or not. And, yeah, uh, I'll be going over that, and we'll see you after the break. So thanks, and bye. For the best and latest podcasts available anywhere, go to the podcast app on your cell phone and type in GSMC. GSMC. 